What's going on YouTube? It's Maddie with Fusaro Fitness and I want to address this question I've been getting a lot lately and something I've dealt with in the past before and it's people who are getting wrist and forearm pain when curling and no one ever specifies what type of curling it is that they're doing but I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's using a straight bar. So something like this, it might be a seven foot Olympic bar that you're curling with in the squat rack or it may just be a regular standard straight bar the shorter five foot ones. The problem and why you're getting that pain as Jason Blaha, I think actually mentioned this a while back in a Q and A, is a lot of people are curling and they're trying to not bend their wrists at all or let their wrists hang. So they focus on bringing their wrists forward like this, which is already putting weight and tension on the forearm. And then you start curling like that. But the problem is you're also taking tension away from your bicep. So when curling with a straight bar or an easy curl bar, you can actually let your wrist hang a little bit because like I said, the focus should be on the bicep, not the forearm when doing bicep curls. So it is okay to curl the weight with that slight bend in your wrist and really squeeze the biceps when curling and let the wrist hang a little bit instead of bringing them up like this because now your forearm is tensed. Also, the problem with straight bar curls for some people is they lift more than they should and their hands start turning outward which you can't really see because you're holding a straight bar, but you're putting pressure on this side of your forearm and I'm assuming that's where you get the pain if you're getting forearm pain. And you start to turn your hands outward when you're lifting the weight and the pain radiates up through your forearm because the weight is too heavy and you can't lift to a proper form. So what to do? There's a variety of things you can do to alleviate that wrist and forearm pain. First thing being is take some time away from curling. You don't have to curl every time you go into the gym. You can even take a week or two off from curling. You're not going to deflate your biceps. Ditch the straight bar or lower the weight. That's one thing you can do. Well, two things you can do. Or you can go ahead and grab an easy curl bar, which will give you the opportunity to change up your grip. You may also be gripping the bar way too wide. You may be doing curls like this, putting a lot of tension on your forearms or way too narrow, putting tension on your wrists. So that's the benefit of dumbbell curls and that easy bar. So I'll show you in a second. This is an easy curl bar for those wondering. Notice how they have angled handles. So you can grab like this, and now when you curl, you're able to keep that angle in your wrist and you don't have to worry about turning outward and putting that pressure on your forearm. So this will definitely make curls easier if you're able to grab a bar with this type of grip or even a hammer grip, if your gym has that kind of bar, if not, go ahead and switch over to a dumbbell. Dumbbell. Again, some people will experience wrist and forearm pain when curling with a dumbbell because the weight's too heavy or they're doing it wrong. So like I said with that whole wrist thing, they may be coming up and turning too much outward, putting pressure right here. They also may be doing what they do with the bar, going like this, and curling and putting the tension on the forearm. You can let the dumbbell hang a little bit and really think about just using your bicep to lift the weight. Another alternative would be to switch to a hammer grip variation, a neutral grip like this. So you hold the dumbbell this way and instead you're curling upward. That should take a lot of tension off your wrist and forearm. Unless of course you're doing it wrong or going too heavy. You can also do cross the body like that. So that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section below if this helped you out a little bit and share your experience with what grip you like to use and if you've had this pain, what you did to fix it. That's pretty much it. Off to the outro screen. This is the outro screen. If you look to the left hand side, you'll see one, two, three videos that I did previously, like months ago, or maybe even yesterday. But you can click them and they'll open up in a new window. You can also click that link below me where it says subscribe. And though I didn't say below me, I said below me. And you can click that to subscribe to the channel. And you should already be subscribed, but you can also look in the description box and visit me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Give those all a like and follow me. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, bros.